<coughs> Hello, my name is Tyler Mullen, and I am going to be giving a speech today about the pay as you want method. Uh, now, um, I was brought here today to give my suggestions about um, what we can, t what direction we should take um, the company in, what uh, new ideas can our new members bring to the table, and today um, I want to. Um, I don't like admitting it, none of us like admitting it, but um, we've been kind of going a little downhill lately, and um, a lot of this may be because, um, well, there's this idea, there's this idea out there that it may be because we're overcharging our customers by charging them at all. Now, that may seem strange to a lot of people. But this is actually something a lot of antivirus companies, such um, n um, um, but a lot of antivirus companies are actually offering their software for free. Examples of this include AVG and um, Threatfire, and um, uh, yeah, um, and it's just. Mm, and the pay-as-you-want model is um, something that refers to um, the customer deciding the price and um, the idea that the um, the uh, the um, that the, um, that the that the person who makes the product will be able to still receive money because people will pay for products that they um, enjoy and support. Um, re um, regardless um, of whether they have the option to not pay f um, for it or not. Um, what's notable about this is that uh, um, well I'm going to be going over um, a few different uh, things in this. Um, I'm going to be going over some businesses that have uh, recently uh, um, attempted the pay as you want method. Um, I'm going to be going over some attempts to, uh, to, to go over the, uh, to go, oh, um, to go, um, go over how we can um, generate revenue in addition to this and I'm gonna go over how we can cut costs on this um, so uh, one example I feel like I should bring up is uh, Springwise which is a Brazilian book company that is basically creating this um, new type of store that's basic that can basically be described as um, as a uh, book um as um book vending machines and you basically what you do is you go up to there and it um you insert uh two brazilian uh notes or you can insert more and then you receive a book out of there of um of your choice what's interesting about this is it doesn't seem like that would be a lot it doesn't seem like it would be a good business model but they actually make quite a lot of money off this just because of how much they save on um, how much to make going from a store basically from going to a store to a vending machine um, and um, it, it cuts down on like um, rent for keeping the building together, uh, maintenance costs, um, um, the cost of keeping all the employees uh, and then um, what what um and this model's actually been proven to be very successful because it the auto were actually <coughs> were um actually uh were actually um put to um actually doubled in sales after only a single month now um another one I feel like I should bring up is um, uh, the pie chart on the over here refers to a uh, um, refers to um, to a um, two different ebooks, which um, 
um, were previously available off for sale for five dollars off of their website and but are now available um, for um, using pay as you want and the um, and this allows them to this allows them to oh, <coughs> oh god this allows them to uh, um, this uh, Um, th um, this allows them to contribute what, um, as much as they like. And what's interesting to note about this is that they take up uh, two notable. Uh, they take up uh, notable spaces. Is they take um, up as much as they like? Um, is that they take up uh, all of the spaces? That they, um, is that half of the customers would, um, would pay for this, half of them wouldn't. And what's interesting to note about this is that the average price of the contributors did pay for it was $5. What's even more interesting is that the, um, there were people who actually paid more than the original listed price. Some of them went as high as $20. Now, if you're not sold on either of those, I, I can understand that. But let me tell you about um, this third case um, uh, study ab um, about this that where um, um, when Radiohead had announced a t um, their 2000 um, the, um, 10 days before their 2007 album in Rainbows was released that it would be um, that it would start out as a pay as um, as pay as you want um, the fan base was. Just absolutely ecstatic for this and um, it sold phenomenally well when it started. It's um, sold two, um, more in two months than it has um, than the album that came before it has sold ever and um, when it eventually did reach retail it sold for uh, um, it reached um, not so far it reached number one on the Billboard uh, 200 and it was nominated for five different Grammys that year um, so it was very critically acclaimed and it, so we have this piece so we have this product that is pay as you want and proved to not only be massively successful Bob, um, massive from a financial standpoint but also very critically acclaimed um, there's also um, other ways to cut costs with this such as, um, oh, such, um, um, such as, um, if we switch to the digital method for this, um, we take, we, um, we, we don't have to ship it out to a retail store. And that means um, that means we save cost there. And since there, there's no middleman involved, that means that we don't have to take. Uh, that means we don't have um, uh, to take. Uh, that means we don't have to. Uh, it means that the retailer doesn't charge extra, so they can make a profit. There's also a lot of other features they can add there, such as um, pr um, um, premium, um, premium, which um, we would of course offer for um, a free version, which is the pay we use the pay as you want method, and then there's a premium version that allows tons of extra um, extra features that they can pay for, and we can also put ads in the um, uh, in the base um, um, in the interface. Um, as a way to make revenue.